hey guys and welcome to this video so let us just get into it after all you've clicked on this video to watch me make this mask so here are the things you're going to need you're going to need some honey you're going to need some turmeric you're going to need a bowl to mix your mask and you're going to need a teaspoon so you want to take a teaspoon of your turmeric and then mix it with half a teaspoon of honey Ideally, you want the consistency of your mask to be thick because if you have a thin mask with too much honey, it's going to drip down your face and turmeric stains clothing. So you do not want a runny mask. So what the turmeric does is that it clears dark spots. Turmeric is amazing for clearing dark spots. It's a natural skin lightener and it also brightens skin. And then what the honey does is that it moisturizes and soothes, soothes the skin so that's what gives your skin that glow and also it's good for acne it's good for treating acne and it's amazing for preventing acne so here I'm just mixing I added a bit of honey just because the turmeric had not mixed in well So this is the consistency you want, something very thick that it's, is not running down your teaspoon. Now let me share with you guys the tips or the steps that I use to get the best result from my face mask. Whatever face mask it is you're using, if you follow these steps then you're going to get the most out of your face mask. So the first thing you want to do is cleanse your face. Here you just use your face cleanser. For me, I'm using the soap I have been using and loving. This is the turmeric and liwa soap that has been amazing. I hope you guys can see that my skin has started clearing up. Huh? There's quite some improvement in my skin. So I'm using my spin brush to really, really get all the dirt and gunk out of my face. I don't use this spin brush every day. So when I'm doing a mask, which is basically once a week, I do use it so that it really gets all the dirt out of the pores and usually there is a lot of dirt <laughs> so cleansing your skin as the first step helps to just unclog your pores and remove all dirt and any makeup and anything that is on your face So here I've just rinsed off the soap and I'm pat drying my face. Okay, so the next step is to exfoliate. I am using my all-time favorite exfoliator which is Maze Flour mixed with a little bit of water. You guys, after using this as an exfoliator, my skin is usually left so soft. But all the same, you can use whatever exfoliator you like point is that you should exfoliate just to remove any dead skin cells that have gathered up on your skin during the week or after however long you're doing your mask so that your mask can get to all the areas that it needs to so here i'm really scrubbing that in to get all those dead skin cells out and then after that i'm just going to rinse that off pat dry my skin and then we can move on to the next step so the next step now is to open up those pores so that the mask can really get in there and do its work so that you can get the best results from it so steaming is simple all you need to do is put some boiling water in a basin and then put your head over it and cover it with a towel and you do this in intervals of two or three minutes you come up for air and you keep doing that for about 10 minutes so what the steaming does is that it softens the skin therefore opening up the pores which is necessary for you to get the best results from your mask now the reason why you've cleansed before steaming 
is so that in case there's any dirt and makeup on your face when you when you open up your pores it doesn't get in now finally the skin is ready for the mask i'm using the honey and turmeric mask that i showed you guys how to make earlier and i like using a teaspoon to apply it don't worry i don't take it back to the kitchen to serve sugar <laughs> So I'm using a teaspoon because it's flat and it just makes it so much easier to get into all the areas that need the mask. So I'm applying this generously and in a nice good layer all over my skin. And then I'm going to leave this on for about 15 or so minutes and then rinse it off. So rinsing this mask off can be tricky especially considering that turmeric stains clothes so you have to be super super careful you can't use a face towel because it's going to be stained so I'd advise you use cotton wool I personally use cotton wool or if you have cotton rounds you can use cotton rounds just dip them in some warm water and then use that just to wipe off the mask and then now rinse off and that's basically it you're going to have the best results after doing all the steps I've shared. Okay, so I'm back. I have rinsed off the mask and now I am just pat drying my skin. And you guys, wait for it. Wait and see that glow. <laughs> Boom! Like, it actually gives your skin a glow. Like, for real, you guys. For real, it does. So after this, the last and final step is just to moisturize your skin, whatever moisturizer you use. I have been using jojoba oil and it's amazing. It sinks into my skin beautifully and it leaves my skin feeling soft and smooth and just wow. So I am just applying this all over my skin and then sometimes I actually add some oil in the areas where I feel I'm a bit more dry, which is basically under my eyes and a bit on my forehead. So after that, that is actually it. That's it. It's easy, it's simple, and you can already do it immediately after watching this video. So, yes, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!